Gotta get that subtle flex in there. Anyway, hey, what's up my spaghettis? It's Rachel Janetti and I'm here with a little story time for you today. And look at how fantastic my hair looks for once on this channel. Who is she? I feel great today. I had a really busy day. My blisters on my feet are not feeling so great, but we'll get over that a little bit. I'm sorry for the echo in here. I'm back in my film room. I still have the boxes here from the haul that you saw a few weeks ago. Yeah, I have a lot of stuff in here. I'm hearing like, oh, it's this. Oh, that is so much better. Okay. My trophy was doing a weird thing. I don't know. Physics. Anyway, I'm here with a little story time for you guys because I haven't done one in a long time and I just remembered this because I watched a video and I was talking to my friend the other day and they were like, hey, do you remember the Disney trip? I remember the Disney trip and I remember it vividly. That title is not clickbait. Let's get on with it. All right, so the Disney trip all started with a lot of stress. We had to be there at like five in the morning, six in the morning. If you know anything about my friends, it's that they're not morning people. You know who you are. It was four or five in the morning and we were getting on a plane, very stressed out, trying to get their instruments in the right places, trying to get on the plane with um, our entire group, which was a whole fiasco in itself. Only half of us had TSA pre-check and it was a little bit chaotic to say the least so it, it took us twice as long because they had to go through TSA and we had to go through TSA pre-check but like we were waiting for them and just it didn't really make sense and so uh we got on the plane the day before we got our parts for the second musical of the year which would be Queen City Strikers which was a musical that was produced by the students and the people the the teachers teachers that's the it was written by the teachers as well so like that would that was like our pride and joy kind of thing. But it started the day before. Our director was going on the trip with us. And so the entire plane ride, I had to memorize lines. Yeah, so we had to like memorize lines. So I was annoying them the entire flight, but takeoff was the hardest part because I sat next to my friend Sarah, we were holding hands so hard because we are so scared to like travel by ourselves. We just don't like to like go on planes and it was quite scary uh, for that reason specifically. Anyway, we get there. It's like 2 p.m. and it's we're going to Orlando. We get to the resort that we're staying at because we're performers there technically because um, I'm a singer. I, I was a singer. I don't sing it now. And we were gonna perform at Disney. So that's why th that's the entire reason why we were there and I Go and we start walking to where our room is And we keep walking And then we keep walking And guess what? We keep walking 10-15 minutes to walk back to I'm probably exaggerating, but I don't care we're went back to where we were we were in this like w it was four of us in a room i was the only chorus performer person um we finally get our bags settled and we decide hey we're gonna go on to i believe we're gonna go on to the next night where uh i believe it was magic kingdom so the half day it was uh, our group and you had to like stay with your group, you know, like uh, you had to be with your people. It comes to the end of the, kind of the end of the night. You still have like, like two hours before the fireworks start. We wanted to see the fireworks. We had one person, no, we had two people in our group. We had a group of like eight or 10, I think. And uh, we had two people in our group want to go back to the hotel and swim in the pool, which we thought was weird because the pool closed at like eight and it was already like eight ten. We wanted to stay for the fireworks. So we were like, hey, can we stay for the fireworks? And our chaperone, chaperone was like, no, you have to come with us. And we were like, what if we get another chaperone? And she was like, no. And so we asked um, the teacher that was in charge of this, who is the orchestra kind of pit band teacher lady. She's 
the sweetest lady ever. She's like, yes, you can stay with my group. And we were like, okay, great. So we text our chaperone and she was like, you still have to come back with us. And we were like, how about no? And so we just kind of stay with Mrs. I almost said her name, with uh, the orchestra band person, teacher, chaperone. She, she like let us back at the end of the night. And um, so that was a little fiasco in itself. Anyway, 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 we are at wherever Space Mountain is. I believe it is Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom is a huge place. We were all together, uh, Leah and her friends, as well as Phoebe, Sarah, Emma, and I. We were all in one big group because we stay together and it's fun and things. I don't like roller coasters, neither does Sarah. Phoebe absolutely loves them and so does Emma. Those two are fearless. I don't know how they're fearless. I don't know what they do. I don't know like how they don't have a heart attack, but like they can like go on any roller coaster. They, okay, we have not, Sarah and I have not gone on any roller coasters, like r wild roller coasters. Not like we went on the Epcot thing where it was like slow and then we went on like, we went on like the, the r regular rides, the ones that aren't crazy, you know? You know. And we were like, we held, held their bags and stuff. They convinced us to go on Space Mountain. Now, if you guys don't know how old Space Mountain is, Space Mountain is old. My dad went on it when he was a kid and he's... Yeah. And it breaks down a lot. But this is like the most terrifying experience of my life, which I had a pretty good life, obviously, if this is the most terrifying experience of my life. We go on Space Mountain and we wait in the line and it's moving pretty slow. It had been broken down earlier and then we said no for that time and then we couldn't get on it anyway because it was broken down. That was our first mistake. Our second mistake was getting on the ride itself. And uh, we got on the ride, I wrapped my thing around my ankle, like you're supposed to because they don't have like lockers for that one because it's so old. We were on track B, remember this. Or when you go on, there's like an area here and then it splits off into two and there's track B and track A. So track A was over here, track A was working fine. Track B was the one that we were on. And so, so, everything was fine. There is that initial big hill that you go up and you stop at, a, stop at the top for a second. Or at least, I, I, that's what we did. I don't know if this actually was a thing. We get to the top and I hear an error message play. An error message. And this is milliseconds before we go rocketing down that first, first hill. I know when Phoebe and Emma start screaming, that's when I should be worried. They have been on Space Mountain, I, I believe they've been on Space Mountain more than I have, like, I have never been on Space Mountain before this. They were screaming. I saw Emma, like, duck because she felt like something was going to hit her in the head. This is how fast we were going. And I looked it up after. I believe it was like 65, it was, I think it's something in the 60 mile per hour range it was so fast so fast and this like six foot four burly dude in the back uh we were we were in the front and there was like a guy and his girlfriend in the back he was like screaming bloody murder the other track was going fine and so we go around a few times and then they stop us on the side track they take the carts too so they don't like go all the way through everything like if they have an emergency keep in mind this room is pitch black I don't know anywhere where anything is I don't know where the beams are I don't know what is happening I don't know where the walkways are I don't know if anyone's even in there with us so we are I have no concept of where we are in this ride and I am terrified of this ride at the moment. I feel like I'm gonna die and I'm trying to like rationalize this in my head like this is part of the ride, right? This is part of it. This is part of it. And then the lights turn on. In a giant room, a giant cement room, we could see the people mover 
going through the little tunnel at the top. We're waving, we're like, hey, somebody help us. The other ride finishes. And then we're just like sitting there like, we don't know what to do. I take my phone out and I record some video of what it looks like inside. Hey guys, I'm stuck on Space Mountain. Guess what I didn't want to go on? Space Mountain. And it, they turn the lights on and it looks really, really... I hate this. There's a big drop. Okay. It's not really. It's a, it's just a loop around. And then there was like a little walkway to this side and it got like the ride uh, I don't know if the brakes didn't work or it just got stuck and they had to come up, escort us off the ride and I was shaking so hard. That was the worst Disney experience. And then when I went with my grandparents, they asked, hey, do you want to go on Space Mountain? I was like, no. <laughs> I, that, that ride. I'm more scared of that ride than I am of spiders and I'm really scared of spiders. After that, the trip was like normal. That was the most terrifying experience of my life. So if you guys liked it, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And if you guys want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, it's all at Rachel Janetti because you guys are my spaghettis and that's my name. So if you know anybody who would like this channel, just click that share button. I love you all. Thanks for kind of going through this endeavor with me. Bye.